What's going on everybody? It's your boy Payne. Welcome back to another Final Fantasy 7 Ever Crisis video. Alright guys, um, I apologize. I've been off all day. It's been a crazy, crazy Saturday. If you guys know my my weekends are completely jam-packed with family, kids, etc. And I'm helping my in-laws move tomorrow. So I've just been super busy. Uh, my first video out all day today, which is uncanny for my, for my standards. But here we are. Uh, a couple things I want to talk about. So first off, um, I want to say thank you for all those who responded to the um, the event character or situation that we talked about uh just so you guys are aware about two hours after i posted the video i did i did get my, my ticket back from the devs uh and it did say it is uh, working as intended so i did make a community post about it let me just quickly go back in here and show you guys that post i know some people missed it and i don't know why youtube does this they don't sometimes post the community post out so everybody can see it but i do want to show you guys what i did post so you guys are clear about the message um the post is right here sorry let me just let me just pop it up here onto the channel here so uh, i wrote um so i just noticed that in these cactors for the resident waltz they are not rare enemies and when you check the magnifying glass they're already accounted for in the exp so these are fake ass cactors no bug it's intended lol this is a day ago so i posted this like i guess over 24 hours ago right um, so like two hours after the video, so I did get a response back from the devs. I can't show it because I'm an emulator, uh, but they did say it is in fact working. A few of you guys also posted it. So if you guys go here, like I showed, they are in fact in here. So I wrote back and I simply said, hey, listen, guys, to cause less confusion next time, why not put just regular enemies or you know, roll up the, the EXP and the bosses and not confuse people? Because quite honestly, like Cactors in any Final Fantasy game is synonymous with rarity and extra drops and extra exp for the most part so it's kind of weird to have done that and not explained it in the notice so hopefully they take it to heart and i thank for you guys also for putting in those those tickets because at the end of the day those tickets will actually uh I'll let the devs know okay well, we kind of messed up maybe next time we'll take a different approach on this so again kudos to you guys but it is what it is it is staying as it is and those characters are just placeholders for regular mobs or whatever you want to consider them uh and they're going to give the same amount of exp no matter what so with that being said, on to the next topic. Event dungeon ranking, Shinra building coming soon. So it looks like the next dungeon ranking is in fact dropping and it is going to be a tough one. And I think water apparently plays a big part in this. So as of November 27th, that's two days from now, the dungeon ranking Shinra building event will take place. In this event, players can compete against each other in the dungeon ranking and get high scores. So as usual, this will go until December 4th, always lasts one week. During the result tally, it'll happen on December 4th to December 5th. And then the result announcements will be December 5th to December 11th. How to play, obviously, oh, they fixed the high score part. Yeah, look at that. They, they, they took note. Last time I said H, capital I. Uh, so take dungeon and aim for high score. So here the recommended elements are going to be as follows. Water element is particularly effective. And then non-elemental weapons are effective against certain enemies. So this here is going to be huge because... Water element is something that a lot of people have, in fact, been focusing on because of the Ramu fight. So I hope everyone has that set up. And then the non-elemental non weapons, of course, are going on right now in the crossover event. So those are going to be very effective against certain enemies. Usually certain enemies, I believe, are the stronger enemies, like the ones in the reds. Either way, most bosses are probably going to be affected by both of these either way. So you'll, 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 you'll find a way to use them in the dungeon so as usual reach a high score get awesome rewards you get yourself this this coveted uh nameplate icons etc right there are three types of scores of course ranking rewards difficulty specific uh, score rewards and total score rewards usually most people want to aim for the total score rewards and then try to get as high ranking as you can as usual it's pretty free to play friendly uh please note in this event the acceleration mode again is uh taken out the event period and contents are subject to change without notice image displayed in the notice may differ slightly from those in games and everything else is working as it's supposed to so with that being said guys the question comes down to, is it worth, if you have not pulled for anything, for the Final Fantasy IX crossover um, events? I I'm going to be honest with you guys. Here's my take on this whole thing, okay? The two best weapons in this entire event are simply going to be Sephiroths and Clouds, right? If you have not pulled and you're still debating, I think, I, I think personally, my own opinion on it, they are absolutely worth going for just because of the sheer amount of damage Cloud's weapon does and the effects that Sephiroth does as well, too, going from mid to high, right? So if you have not pulled for them, I really do think Clouds and Sephiroth are definitely the two winners. Now, I would have put Tifas in there 
if the AI was not ridiculous about using it. If you don't know this already, you haven't seen the video about Tifa. Tifa's um, AI never uses No Mercy, which is her weapon, unless it is the strongest thing in her arsenal, which means it needs to be OB ridiculous amount uh, for it to actually be activated through autoplay or manual play. Even if you're using manual play and you're using Cloud or, or your, your healer, uh, the auto version of her will still cast most of the time something different unless that, that enemy is um, immune to all t types of elements, right? And No Mercy is the only one they have. And even then, sometimes I've seen her do like Runra Blow. So I'm forced to like give her Runra over Runra Blow, which is crazy to me, right? So Tifa's weapon, unfortunately, drops down in the list if you are um, planning to run a team with non-elemental weapons, okay? Another really good weapon is going to be, sorry guys, I'm going to go ahead and do this real quick, uh, is going to be the Shinra Blade for Sephiroth. So I highly recommend, guys, to definitely, if you're planning to use Sephiroth, to go uh, Shinra Blade and his Mega Flare, which is the, the Kuja, Kuja Spirit, for Cloud, because it's water, obviously elemental, you can go Maritime Sword and Zidane Sword. And then your your Aerith, you can obviously run healing. Uh, and then if you did go for the um, the Garnet Rod, which, again, is probably the the third best weapon in the whole thing, you could use it still and boost up the Mega Flare that is provided by Sephiroth. So there's a couple good options there. Or you can just run, run a Chocobo Staff on her or whatever you want, right, in order to, to block out some magic defense. So we'll have to see what the enemies are going to be like. So, of course, when the time comes, I will be doing a guide for that. So for those who are looking to definitely summon on the, the crossover event, my opinion, I would go Cloud and Sephiroth. Uh, whichever order you deem more, I think Cloud is worth more personally from a damage perspective. Obviously, it's pretty straightforward, but Sephiroth has nothing to scoff at because I would imagine uh, that Specimen is going to be in this raid and Specimen is immune to all damages except for non-elemental. And uh, because you can do physical attack down, we'll make that fight a lot easier with Sephiroth with magic attack and, and physical attack down. Plus the AOE will really help with the adds that he summons. If you don't know who I'm talking about, let me just show you guys real quick. Uh, so this is a good time to, to start leveling up some of these guys up. Uh, let's go here. Crisis Dungeons. I'll show you guys who I'm referring to. Give me a sec. Uh, I believe Shinra Blade building should have... Okay, so we have Rufus as the boss, but in here you should see a boss. They probably won't show it, obviously, because I have to finish it. Let me go back and see if I can find him in the Shinra building. There it is. I'm referring to this guy here, this specimen, right? Uses many physical attacks, inflicts poison on all targets with Mako Explosion. When HP falls below, etc. Physical attacks and multi-target attacks are effective against this enemy. So this is going to be one of the tougher bosses, I would imagine, in the um, in, in 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 the fight. If he's there, right? Um, if it's there, I should say. I don't know if Rufus is going to be the secret boss because we've had Reno already as a secret boss in one of the the Mako Reactor ones. So we may see Rufus in the Shinra building. Um, dungeon and if he's there he's a tough cookie man so definitely something we might, we, you may want to consider you can see immunities poison darkness silence stun fog and fatigue but uses many physical attacks and flicks defense down but also physical attacks are effective against this enemy so Zidane's sword is going to be great here if he is there and obviously physical attack down and magic attack down uh, sorry physical attack down from Sephiroth will be very very useful of course if you have it built up okay so there you guys go um, brand new ranking dungeon those are the two weapons I recommend summoning for if you plan to summon you can always save up guys and wait for Christmas to drop uh, leaks will probably happen for Christmas eventually and we'll have a better idea of what's coming but of course these are crossover events that will not be featured after this they will not be in the wish list so keep that in mind when you decide what you want to do because if your luck is bad you could be wasting a lot of gems and then you're going to have to use only blueprints in the future to get them up at least i recommend getting at least the three or four star versions of these weapons so you have them and then move on if you don't plan to summon anymore all right guys this is pain hope you enjoyed the video i'll talk to you guys in the next one take care